Well, many of us like to grow plants indoors, start our own seedlings, or maybe bring cuttings in in the fall and have some plants that we keep over the winter. But most of us don't have bright enough light in our homes to really have a quality plant when we're finished. The seedlings tend to get stretchy and straggly, and the way to really correct that is to provide some additional light. So we're going to make a really easy plant stand using PVC pipe, a shop light, and just a few additions that you'll need. So the first thing that we're going to need is a 10 foot section of PVC pipe, the one inch pipe. And we've already cut this into our sections. You can do this with just a saw, but if you don't have equipment or you don't feel comfortable with doing that, you could ask the uh, staff at the hardware store and they'd be, they could help you with that. So we're going to need one four foot section of pipe. We'll need two of the two foot sections. And then we're going to have four six inch sections. So that adds up to 10 feet, no waste, and you're completely using that 10 foot section. Then you're going to go into the plumbing area and pick up a few fittings. You're going to need two of the T joints, and uh, again, the one inch that's going to fit your pipe, two of the L's, and then we have four end caps, and we're going to use those on our feet. Now, the temptation is going to be that you're going to want to glue this all together, but hold yourself back. Don't glue it together because when you're done, then it's very easy to take it down and store it. And so this is a great project for schools. They can grow uh, plants in their classrooms. They can put it on top of a counter or they could put it under a counter. You could have it in your home, various places. But at the end of the season, when you're ready to put those plants out in the garden, you can just take it all apart, uh, put all the fittings in a bag, tape these pieces together, and you can store it much simpler. So let's start by assembling the legs or the side pieces. We have a two foot section. We're going to insert it in the center of the T and then on each of the arms of the T we'll put these little six inch pieces. And on each end you can put an end cap. And those are just gonna fit on there just very easily. We'll do the other one the same way. Put our little side pieces in with the end caps. Now we're going to put the L on each end of this long four foot section and then fit one of our legs on each end. Just going to work so that those two feet are parallel. And here we have the brace or the stand for our, our light stand. We have our frame ready. Now we're ready to hang our light. And this is just a basic shop light fixture. It's nothing fancy, just a regular shop light fixture that you can buy at any hardware store or lumber yard. And these are just regular fluorescent bulbs. So again, you don't need to buy anything special. While you have it down, before you hang it, you might want to check it and make sure everything's working. So we're going to plug in the, the light here and make sure that our lights work. And they do. So we're going to turn it over. I've used S hooks to attach two pieces of chain to the light fixture. And this is going to help us because we'll be able to raise and lower the light to make sure we get it to the right place for the plants. So I'm just going to bring the chain over the top of the rod and hook it on. And then I can slide this one down, bring the next one over, and again, hook through the chain, and then you'll be able to use these chains to raise or lower the light fixture. Many times the chain will be in the box that comes with your light fixture, so you might want to check that out before you leave the hardware store. If you don't have uh, the chain, just get a, a basic piece of chain and those S-hooks. So I have my flat with the seeds. 
I'm going to keep this light fixture right above the soil surface because the light intensity drops dramatically the further away you get from the light. So you always want to have that light source as close to those seedlings as possible. And then as they grow, we can just you know, raise that chain up and, and have it a little higher. So if you don't have a lot of light in your home and you'd like to grow some plants in the basement, in a heated garage, maybe in a classroom at school, consider building a PVC light stand. It's easy, it's simple, it's not very costly, and it's a way to be able to grow a better quality plant. For more information, visit your local Extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.